Today, let's talk about your animal, your mind, your personality, and yourself, your true self. We have this thing where we're pursuing happiness or we're pursuing fulfillment or we're pursuing significance. Uh, we're doing this thing called life. And why are we here? Well, it's very different depending on what you're relating to, who you think you are. So when you are your animal, your body, right? This, this machine that we're, we're driving around the world in, when you are that, it's all about scarcity and it's all about survival. I need to get this to survive. Animals, they don't really have a mind in that they're trying to think about significance. They're trying to, to think about uh, what, what, who they are in the world, right? And, and how everybody, what everybody thinks of them. <laughs> animals don't do that. Uh, animals are going off instinct. Their body tells them what they need, right? Uh, need food, uh, need uh, a different climate so that I don't freeze to death or, death or burn up. Uh, I need to procreate, so I'm gonna go after, you know, uh, to mate so I can, so I'm just following this instinct. And a lot of people are predominantly in that mode where it's really just a survival thing where they're following their body instinct. And uh, it's a, it's just a small place to be. And it's, it's, uh, it's just not fulfilling. When you have this thing called uh, the mind, which has the capacity for higher, ha has a capacity for higher enjoyment, higher experience than just survival of your body. So then one day your mind gets strong enough and the person realizes, wow, I'm more than my body. I can have some significance. I can uh, build this life and and uh, have this community. I could uh, have this thing where others will notice me, right? It's not just survival anymore. Now I'm thinking that I am, uh, I'm thinking on my mind and my mind's telling me things and I'm listening to it. I need to look good. I need to have more stuff. So now I want to be happy in a different way. And, and it's not just about my body being okay because I'm warm, I'm uh, fed, uh, my body's fine. And yet I'm still not happy I'm, it's because I'm relating to my mind as me and I'm believing what it tells me. Like, I need to look good now in front of other people. Uh, I need to control other people. Uh, I need to uh, have a lot of diverse activities, right? So I can have fun. And if I don't have those things, then I'm not gonna be happy. But those things are over there and I'm gonna go get them. And now there's this disparity between where I'm at and where I wanna be. And it's this constant pursuit, which will last your whole life, for sure, if you stay there. So. Uh, but uh, but uh, the real me is I'm not a, my body. I'm not my machine, and I'm not my mind. So I go to this place where I have a body, not I am the body, and I have a mind. Right? It's a great tool. I'm thankful for this mind. And the next mistake that someone could make is they think I am this personality. The personality, this thing that I think I say I am. Hi, I'm Javon. Well, that personality. It comes from really growing up with genetics, with uh, my my surroundings, all these things has built this personality. It's this persona. It's this mask that's covering up that the real me is wearing. This personality. That's also a really big trap that we have because if I think I'm my personality, well, this personality has an image out in the world and now I'm spending a bunch of time uh, protecting this image. So it's not even really about being happy anymore. <laughs> you know, taking care of my body or trying to take care of uh, you know, my, my mind uh, and the significance that I could possibly have. But now uh, um, it's, it's gotten even more tricky because I'm trying to maintain an image. And even if it's not an image I like, a lot of times I'm just trying to maintain it just because it's the image that I have. It's who I am or so I think I am, right? I'm dependable. Uh, so I have to uh, say yes to everybody, anybody's needs. That, that could be uh, a personality's idea, right? So I'm gonna maintain that and I always say yes to everybody. Or I'm a renegade, no one tells me what to do. So I say no to everybody, right? And, and 
either, either extreme, I could be missing out on either a wonderful way of serving somebody and saying yes, or a wonderful way of freeing myself to unhealthy relationships by saying no. E either way, right? So it's, it's not protecting and keeping alive this thing this personality. So if I have, I'm not my body, I have a body. If I'm not my mind, I have a mind. It's helpful to, to use it as a tool. If I'm not my personality, I have a personality. Who am I? Well, that is the question. And there's a process and a path of negation where you realize I'm not any of this stuff. And once you realize that you're not any of those things, and they are all just things that pass, there's a part of you that is you that has always been and will always be. And this is true true identity. And it's a path once you are able to touch that part that is past just being happy and even past the experience of, of peace or joy, uh, creativity, all, all these uh, ephemeral um experiences that are wonderful but they're also their experiences that pass they're past the things that can change that you can have and not have anymore experience and not experience anymore it's this place of uh, it's been called nothingness but it's not really nothing but it kind of seems like nothing at first that's the um that's something to, to go to. I think it's a wonderful place. And this is the place that stillness can get you. Stillness, meditation, con contemplative prayer. Try them out. Uh, if what you're doing is working for you, of course, keep, keep it up. But if you're not satisfied anymore, this is a great path to check out.